Hello everyone, myself Dr. Lakshmi Datta, Technical Officer 2, Music in View. Today I am going to cover memory and storage device. Now, what is memory unit? Memory is required in a computer to store programs and the data processed by, by the programs. Computer memory is made up of a large number of cells. Each cell is capable of storing one bit of information in the form of binary number. The memory, uh, basically computer memory are two types, primary memory as well as secondary memory. Next, uh, primary memory. Now, let's uh, look at the characteristics of a primary memory. The primary memory memory access directly by the processor. It is the fastest memory available. For primary memory, time to store or receive a word is independent of address. Primary memory is a volatile memory. That means, means that means at the moment uh, we switch up the power, whatever data stored in the memory, it will be erased. There are two types of primary memories available that is RAM and ROM. RAM is uh, full form is random access memory and ROM is the read only memory. Further, RAM is classified in two forms that is DRAM and SRAM. DRAM stands for dynamic RAM and SRAM is static RAM. ROM is also further two types that is PROM and EPROM. PROM is programmable uh, ROM and EPROM is erasable programmable ROM. EPROM is further two types EEPROM that is electrically erasable PROM and UV EPROM ultraviolet erasable PROM. Next RAM, already knows RAM stands for random access memory. For RAM, processor access all memory addresses directly. RAM is available in very small quantity of up to 1 gigabyte. RAM is a volatile memory. It is two type DRAM that is dynamic RAM and SRAM static RAM. In dynamic RAM, each memory cell made of one transistor and one capacitor. For that, the cell start losing its charges and hence data store is in less than thousands of, of a second. DRAM needs to be refreshed thousand, thousand times, times a second. DRAM can have a large number of cells. Therefore, primary memory of most of the personal computer is made of a DRAM. Now, in static RAM, made of uh, each cell of static RAM is made of made of a flip flop. Um, because of that, it retains its bit till the power supply is on. Further, uh, the uh, the static uh, the static ROM Static RAM short has a shorter read write cycle. It is used for a, any specialized applications only. Next ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. ROM can, uh, can it can only be read by the processor. The data to be stored retained during the manufacture manufacturing phase only. RAM ROM contain data that does not need to be uh, altered. ROM usually slower and hence cheaper than RAM.
wrong two types that is P wrong, programmable wrong and EP wrong, erasable programmable wrong. P wrong is P wrong is programmable wrong that that means it is not possible to modify or erase the program whatever stored in a ROM. But in case of EP ROM, that program we can erase by uh, by ex uh, exposing it to a ultraviolet light. Next, secondary memory. Now, why secondary memory is required? The primary memory is expensive as well as it is it has a limited uh, means, uh, limited space next is uh, the first primary memory are also volatile to store large number of uh, data or program permanently a cheaper or a permanent memory is required therefore an additional memory is required in all computer system this memory is called the secondary memory the example of secondary memories are DVD, hard disk, CD, pen drive, Blu-ray disk, etc. Next, the characteristics of secondary memory. It is a non-volatile memory. Uh, it, ha it, is, it has a large capacity and it is cheaper as compared to the primary memory. Secondary memory is uh, basically two types, fixed and removable. Uh, the fixed memory, means fixed secondary memory is actually part of CPU. That is an uh, example of fixed uh, drives is uh, hard disk drive and CD drive, CD or DVD drive. And removable uh, memory is the pen drive and Blu-ray Blu disk. Hard disk drive. Hard disk drive made up of a series of circular disks called platters, arranged one over another, almost uh, half inch apart around a spindle. The hard disk drive made of a non-magnetic material like a aluminium alloy and coated with 10 to 20 nanometer of magnetic material. The each disk, uh, the standard diameter of each disk of uh, this disk of 14 inches. The hard disk drive rotate with a speed varying from uh, 4200 RPM for personal computer and 15000 RPM for server. Data usually stored by the magnetizing and demagnetizing of uh, uh, demagnetizing the magnetic coating a typical modern hard disk drive has a capacity in in terabyte next cd drive cd stand for uh, stands for compact disk cd are circular disk that uh, use optical ray to read and write it is very cheap and portable. Mainly three types of CDs are available. First is the CD-ROM. A CD-ROM is written uh, during the process of manufacturing by a high power laser beam. Next is recordable CD that is CDR. Data can be written once. It cannot be deleted or modified later. And third one is read write CD, that is CD are, are read and write. This type of CD can be used for both reading and writing purpose. Next optical disc, that is DVD drive. DVD stands uh, stands for digital video display. DVD are optical uh, devices that can store 15 times storage capacity uh, as compared to the CD. DV because of that, DVDs are generally used to store movie and other audio and video files. They, uh, they came in three varieties that is read only, decodable as well as read 
uh, writable. Next, flash drive. Flash memory is a memory chip that is used to for store as and also for transferring data between a computer and digital devices. It is a non non volatile memory. It is the least expensive for, as compared to the semiconductor memory. Some example of flash drives are play, memory card, pen drive, etc. Next, network storage. The network storage refer to the storage of digital data on a network of interconnected devices. There are three types of network storage are available. That is, uh, network attached storage, NASH, storage area network, SAN, and cloud storage. NAS devices are dedicated file servers that provide centralized storage for a network of devices. SANs are dedicated storage network that provides block level storage to multiple devices. Cloud storage provide remote storage of data over the internet, typically through a subscription based services. Now advantages of network storage are it is it has a centralized management. Next is it uh, it has improved data availability. Next disadvantage is very high, high cost. Complex setup and management are there. Next uh, there is a potential security risk if it is not properly configured. 